welcome to another edition of EPW Wrestling. I'm Hollywood Jimmy, along with Jax Rocks, and we're right here in Mantachi, Mississippi, with a great crowd. And, to, and today, finally, Parental Advisory going to get their hands on K-Swiss and Tony Dabbs, and PA is not coming along. In their corner, Mantachi's very own Coach Booth is going to be right here today in action on EPW. And guess what? The EPW champion is in the house, and he has something to say. We will hear from him next. So let's get started with EPW Wrestling. The EPW champion is in the house. And I think he has a few words. Can we, can we get a quick interview real quick? Real quick. So, I, I've got this, okay? Interview. <laughs> Jack, sit back down. I guess you think that's real clever. I love it. The champion's in the house. Justin Klein out here with a frat row hero. Here in EPW Wrestling, here in Mantachi, Mississippi, at the Mantachi High School. Looking at the way some of you dress to go out in public, I don't know if this is called Mantachi or Mantaki. <laughs> so I got some bad news and I got some good news, okay? The bad news is. Actually, let's start with the good news. The good news is you're getting to see the finest wrestling manager in professional wrestling. And the greatest EPW heavyweight champion of all time, Brandon Savage. The EPW champion. And you don't appreciate it. Here's the bad news, though. See, the bad news is your opponent heard that he had to face you, and he got chicken. Called in sick. Couldn't show up. I guess he was afraid he was going to take an L like the Mantachi Mustangs take an L every time they face Mooreville Troopers. It's true. It's true. Don't get mad at me. I look at the scores. They didn't like that. That's a big rival right here. <laughs> but hey, at the at the expense at the expense of raising the divorce rate here in Mantachi, we're going to give them a little consolation prize. We have agreed to take photos with you right out here because we're not wrestling tonight. You got the night off. And let's go meet some of these Mantachi mouth breathers. Make a little money off of them. What do you say? <laughs> let's go do it. I don't know if they want the women from Mantachi. I'm telling you. I mean, I've seen some of them. They <laughs> a lot of them don't even have any teeth. Well, who's this? What's going on here? Who is this? What? Bone Crusher? He has no right out here. He's the EPW commissioner, and he's out here. I can't stand him. He makes me sick. What is he doing? First of all, you two can get back in the ring because you don't have the night off. You do not have the night off. You may run around and think everybody's afraid of you, but I got somebody in the back I know's not afraid of you. So right now, give me a referee out here. I need a referee. Get back in the ring. Get back in the ring. No. Get back in the ring. Can't do this. Who, who is this? Who's coming out here? No way! It's Marco Harris! Oh no! Marco Harris in the house here in EPW, right here in Mantachi, Mississippi. Oh, the crowd goes crazy over Marco Harris. I can't believe it. There's gonna be a match right here. Look at this crowd going. Berserk over Marco Harris here in Mantachi. Wow! 
Bone Crusher had not the right out here making his I hate Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher had it pegged. If he had to find an opponent for Brandon Savage here tonight, it hey, was definitely. Hey, hold up. Uh, uh, hold on, Bone Crusher. Hold up. Hold up just a minute. Marco, I know you did not act for this match, but I'm going to make it an EPW heavyweight title match. What? It's a title match. I don't believe it. That's not right. That is not even right. He's not He's not a clean up. He's been gone for weeks, and he comes out here. He's going to give him a title match. Bone Crusher has got it pegged today. He's got Marco Harris out here, oh. a man Tachi favorite, and it is for the EPW Heavyweight Championship. That's, that's as close as he's going to get to it right there. He might as well get back to the front row hero. Moron. I can't believe this. He's the Bone Crusher here throwing his weight around. He's an egomaniac. All right, here we go. There's the bell. Oh, my gosh. They had the night off, and here they are. He's going against Marco Harrison in a title shot. But you know what? I don't think they have anything to worry about. Hey, you know what? We got a title match right here today on EPW. But don't forget, tonight, be sure and check out EPW Summerfest in Jackson, Tennessee, at the West Tennessee Comic Con. Carl Perkins Civic Center, bell time 7.30. Wrestling is free with paid admission to the Comic Con. That's a great deal, free. You can't beat it. And who knows, Marco Harris may wind up being your champion tonight at the Comic Con. Oh, come on. I, oh my gosh. He took the front row hero down. Brandon Savage is in so much trouble. Misses with a drop kick. And this is not right. He was supposed to have had the time off tonight. This is not right. I mean, this is awful here. The front row hero has to feel like he's getting hazed again to get to his fraternity. Justin Klein has got to come up with something right here. This is horrible. He missed with the clothesline. Marco Harris was able to kick the, the knee out from underneath. We Brandon can Savage, look at this crowd. And we can have a new champion right here on EPW. Something unexpectedly, I, mean, I cannot believe this. Justin Klein thinking that it's football. This is wrestling, there is no timeout in wrestling. Well, he needs a little timeout because he wasn't expecting to do all this, come on. Oh yeah, kick right to the face of Marco Harris. Something he deserves. Big, big forearm there from Brandon Savage, your EPW heavyweight champion. Marco Harris with a big boot to the face of a pretty boy. Yeah, back of the head. You know, you're not, front row hero's not going to take anything from Marco Harris. Kind of got a backcracker there. Yeah, go for a pin. Kick out. He's getting on the referee. Slow count by the referee. It's always a slow count when it doesn't go your way, Jimmy. Tax Rocks, you make me sick too. You something you like Joey. Brandon Savage with a clothesline, short arm clothesline there on Marco Harris. Only a two count, says referee Mike Thrasher. Justin Klein is, uh, he's kind of uh, bothering me out here. He hasn't done anything yet to interfere in the match, Whoa. Which, which has me a little scared. Hey, excuse me, he's, he's never, ever interfered in the match. Then you've been watching some matches I have never seen. Only a two count. Marco Harris had uh, Brandon Savage down for the pin. Oh, yeah. Dropped him right on that turnbuckle. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be not, 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 his light's going to be knocked out right here. There you go. PW. Lights out. Lights out right there. Oh, come on, referee. Only a two count. Oh, come on, referee. It should have been a three. Brandon Savage telling Mike Thrasher he doesn't like the way he's officiating this matchup. Well, does, does Mike Thrasher even want to count to three? I'm sure he does. He's been around EP, EPW long enough. If he went to the Mantachi School, I'm sure he does not want to count to three. Up on the shoulders. This crowd getting behind Marco. Listen. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Reversal. Leapfrog. Up and over. And oh, a drop kick. Right in the kiss 
Mercer, a Brandon Savage, Marco Harris the, got airborne. The front row hero is in so much trouble right now. Justin Klein over here a little worried, and I can't blame him. I told you, Jimmy, it looks like we're going to have a brand new EPW champion after today's matchup. Marco Harris taking it to Savage. Oh, my gosh. Kick to the back of the head, and Savage is definitely dazed and confused. Marco Harris with a uh, corkscrew forearm there. Only a two count. I was trying to get the, uh, the count there. What is Klein doing? I don't know. He's over talking to him. And talking to each other. All this crowd saying something. They're trying to point something out. No, I don't know what you're talking about. The crowd is trying to. Brandon Savage has got the ring apron. He was looking for something under the ring. Klein is, the, the referee is distracted. Oh, Klein just hit Marco with the title in the head. What? what? I, I didn't see that. One. Yes. Yes. You know that was questionable, Jimmy. I don't know what you're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, and still your EPW Heavyweight Champion, the Frat Row Hero, Brandon Savage. He won it fair and square. Marco Harris he did not oh, win it. Yes, fair. It, yeah. Yes, he did. Justin Klein hit Marco uh, in the head. Oh, come on. Yeah, you don't know what you're saying. I didn't uh, see that. He won it fair and square. Official, oh. The official was distracted with the ring apron. That gave Klein the opportunity to pick up the title belt. He gave it to uh, you're Harris, hit him right in the face with it. You're a lunatic. You don't even know what you're talking about. I, look at, look, look we'll at be this back. We'll be, shut up. Shut up, Jack. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be right back right after this message. Coach Booth, you ready to go tonight? You ready to show them what we got for Man, Man I've been waiting on this all, all week long. All these kids are here ready to see ready us. Ready to go. Go. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look what the cat puked up. Man. Look at you looking all spiffy, looking like the cream of the crop. Hey, I told you last time, man, I was going to be ready for you. You're ready. ready. Yeah. You look ready. Yeah, I'm you ready. You better be ready. ready. You can count on that. We've been waiting all week for you. Well, oh, what now? With these guys here, you better be getting pretty used to losing. Yeah, we'll see you in the ring. We, 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 we got you. We got you. We got you. Yeah, we're going to get down. We got it. Let's get it on with these dudes. Good, sweetie. I think I want the grilled chicken strips and the salad with the water. Wow, that's a lot of food. Why do you need so much? I need a lot to of food so I can get big and strong. That way I can win the EPW championship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, kid. Do you think you actually have what it takes to become a professional wrestler? If you think eating all that food is going to make you a champion, you're wrong. <laughs> What's the kid been eating? Only the best and I get it from dinner bill. Ring the bell. Hey, it's me, the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Art. Where do I like to shop for my record collection? In Tupelo, Mississippi, of course, at Rockstar Records, Tupelo.com. Check them out there. But you know what? You can get anything you want here. Brand new CDs, or even goody CDs, vinyl, anything. Look at this over here. Kiss. They were part of our WCW show. Oh, my gosh. Look, CD Lauper, part of WrestleMania 1. What about WrestleMania 3 with Alice Cooper through the big snake, Damien on me? Unbelievable, baby. Check them all out. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this next matchup, it's tag team competition. Introducing first, from Do or Die City, weighing in at 275 pounds, this is Kay Swiss. And, and his tag team partner, weighing in at 252 pounds, from Tupelo, Mississippi, Bad Attitude, Tony. And you know, I can't wait to see what they put on his coach if he sticks his nose where it don't belong. Well, you know, K. Smith and Tony Dez have had issues with criminal advisory over the past few months. But, you know, you got to put the blame on Tony Dez, and I'll tell you why here in just a moment. 
And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 387 pounds. They are Hunter Dabs, Dakota Gage, Parental Advisory. More like juvenile delinquents. And in their corner, from Mantechi, he's a Mantechi Mustang, Coach Booth. Oh my gosh. Look at these people go crazy. They are going crazy here in Mantechi today. Her rental advisory has got Coach Booth in their corner for this matchup. And Coach Booth has got him himself a manager too? What is now, that? Look at this entourage. Oh my gosh. I mean, look how they're dressed. The coach and his manager look like dumb and dumb. Look, I mean, I mean, look at these guys. I haven't seen anybody look like this that you were managing back in the day, Jimmy. Oh, shut your mouth, you idiot. You know, I, 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 I can't stand parental advisory. They're little snot-nosed juvenile delinquents. Well, you know, they, they learn from the master of juvenile delinquency, and that would be Tony Dabbs. No, don't say that. First of all, all these kids right here in Mad are going to end up in jail anyway. I mean, they're going to fill it with jail. Look at all these little juvenile delinquents here in Mantachi, Mississippi. I mean, it's a disgrace. What is these What is these football players doing up here in the ring? I mean, come on. I mean, Coach Booth has got an entourage with him. He's got a manager. Look at this. Shut up, you bunch of little, little snot-nosed losers. And, I mean, the crowd is going wild here in Mantachi for Coach Booth. What is he? What is he dressed as? A, what is that, Macho Man? Oh my gosh. Oh, these people love them. This is embarrassing. I mean, they are, they are definitely behind Rental Advisory and Coach Booth. What kind of outfit have they got on? Is that Dumb and Dumber I just said? Look at that, I'm telling you. I would, oh, this is disgraceful. I don't know about you, Jimmy, but uh, I'm seeing shades of pink flamingos there with the manager of uh, Coach Booth. Yeah, it looks like one of those pink flamingos, I'm telling you. And K-Swiss and Tony Debs are not happy, and I can't blame them. They have not been happy with the shenanigans of a parental advisory for some time now, and it's all going to come ahead to a head today here on EPW. You know what? You, let me ask you something, Jax Rocks. Let me ask you something. you got these two juvenile delinquents that's been stealing people's stuff in the dressing room. You know what I'm talking about. They got case with some boots. There's no tell. I think I'm missing $500 on my bill, though. But I'm telling you, these little thieves are in the dressing room. Why <laughs> does Bone Crusher allow this? You might want to check the pockets of Tony Dabbs if you're missing $500. Ah, oh, come on. You, 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 you turn it around. Come on. There's their little thieves. Smock those thieves. And these kids are clapping for that. What's wrong with them? It's a disgrace to America, a disgrace to Mississippi. All right, we're trying to see who's going to get the uh, the bigger uh, crowd reaction. Oh, and a disgrace to Mantachi. Now, there's, a, there's what I'm talking about. They're great right there. People love them. Did the you not the, hear the, the team of K-Swiss and, and Bad Attitude, Tony Dabbs. Absolutely. People love them here in Mantachi. You know? And what, were they getting a referee? What? you got to be kidding me. What an idiot. Get, there you go. Under. There. That's taking care of business right there. All right. The match is now underway officially. Double team action. No, no. They, oh, no. They went under. No, no. There you go. Double sunset flip and only a two count over there with uh, Dakota Gage and uh, Tony Debs. He had uh, Tony Debs pin. No, no, no. no. Sure. And, and this coach and him, what are they doing over here? They're going to get in their face. K-Swiss is uh, pretty much telling Coach Booth he doesn't care. He's not afraid of it. This guy's four against two. This is what this is going to end up for. Four against two. Actually, five against two, that referee. The referee should count, Jimmy. Oh, I think he should. I mean, he's crooked. He went to that Neil Tyler crooked referee school. All right, Coach Booth out here with a big smile on his face. Definitely behind the team of parental advisory. Oh, yeah. K-Swiss. And Hunter Dabbs. 
Hunter Dabbs. Yeah, what, look at there. He needs a little timeout here. A little timeout. Well, you know, uh, K-Swiss is a little on the bigger side. He's probably got to get his uh, breathing back. That's, that's not funny. That's not funny. He's in great shape. The man's 198 oh, pounds, I mean, full round, of muscle. Round is the shape, Jimmy. I know. Yeah. All right, they got a taller and elbow lockup. There you go. Oh, no. So I tag into uh, Dakota. A little bit of double team action from Purple Advisory. Up and over goes oh Smith. Oh, gosh. Double hip toss. They almost not got him over. He's so I mean, uh, Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say I mean, it, Jimmy. I, I, say it. I, I didn't mean to say it. They, they pulled his hair. They pulled his hair. Exactly what happened. That's what I meant to say. You're trying to make me say something I didn't say. Jack's right. There you go. All right. Okay, Swiss now with the upper hand on Dakota Gage. Oh, no. Hip toss, up and over. Hey, Swiss, he's hurt. We've got to step away from the last commercial break, but we'll be right back. Well, that's good, sweetie. I think I want the grilled chicken strips and a salad with the water. Wow, that's a lot of food. Why do you need so much? I need a lot of food so I can get big and strong. That way I can win the EPW championship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, kid. Do you think you actually have what it takes to become a professional wrestler? If you think eating all that food is going to make you a champion, you're wrong. <laughs> What's that kid been eating? Only the best and I get it from dinner bill. Ring the bell. Hey, it's me, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Art. Where do I like to shop for my record collection? In Tupelo, Mississippi, of course, at Rockstar Records, Tupelo.com. Check them out there. But you know what? You can get anything you want here. Brand new CDs, or even goodie CDs, vinyl, anything. Look at this over here. Kiss. They were part of our WCW show. Oh, my gosh. Look, Cindy Lauper, part of WrestleMania 1. What about WrestleMania 3 when Alice Cooper threw the big snake Damien on me? Unbelievable, baby. Check them all out. It's awesome. Grab me here. Grab me here. Grab me there. Oh. What we, did you? What? We, we are back. We, we just got back. We are back from commercial break, and we missed what K. Smith just did to the referee. What did he do? He hip tossed him. What? He can't. He hip tossed K. Smith. You can't do that. You can't do that. I don't no know way. Where's Tony down? Where's the official? Where's Bone Crusher at? Get him out here right now and fire this referee. This is ridiculous. What is going on? I can't believe it. Bone Crusher, Neil Tyler, I thought what's going on. I don't want an official out here right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. You've got to be kidding me. What what are the what are they what are the guy what are the what's the football team doing? They're not letting them leave. They're, they was wanting to leave and they blocked the entrance to the dressing room. They can't leave. That's co Coach Boost's players are blocking the entranceway to the backstage area. They can't do that. These little Mustang punks, these little punks. Now the, they're back in the, the parental advisory getting K. Swiss and uh, Tony Dabbs back in the ring. And then football team blocked the entrance. I can't believe this. This is not even right. What is going on? This is like 50 against two. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we can't. Uh, K Swiss got the upper hand on Dakota Gage. Come on, call the action, moron. Uh, well, if I could see the action, I would. A little t tag team action going on there. Tony Dads is now in the ring, got a choco on uh, Dakota. I don't see no choco. I see the choco. I can't see that. Snap mirror takeover. People are standing up in front of me. I can't see that. Well, you couldn't see anyway, Jimmy. Take your sunglasses off. I need him at night. Have you ever heard that song? Yeah, Glory Hard. I know okay. all about it. All right. Anyways, we've got a uh, choke hold. It's like a, a variation of the sleeper on Dakota Gage. Yeah. The referee needs to get in there and make sure it's not a choke hold. Dakota Gage not giving up. You know, another thing, too, a lot of people don't know, Tony Dabbs is their father. He's had a lot of trouble Where with these kids. Where do you kids. think they learned their genetics no, from? No, 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 no. He's had trouble with these kids. They Case Smith's back in the ring. He's had trouble with these kids. He, they've been in, they need to be in juvenile. Uh, what do you call it when you put in the kids in the jail? 
detention center or detention something Detention like that? center. That's where they Even need to be. Detention center. That's what they need. I don't know anything about it. I'm sure you know it. I'm sure when you was a kid, you were there. <laughs> so, I didn't know why. That's why I asked. Well, you know, they didn't have them back you in know, your day. And K-Swiss has got this under control right now. That's what I'm talking about. I love K-Swiss. Yeah, hey, look at that. I hey, love it. K-Swiss from hey, Spin, hey, Spin, He just spit hey, in the face Hunter. 100 dabs. Yes. Look at that. No tag. Tony Dabs is in the ring. There was no tag I, I, between I, Swiss and Dabs. I think I, I think I think I saw a tag. I really did. You know. And yeah, the bad ring. attitude, Tony Dabs. Bad attitude, Tony Dabs. It's, oh. it's taking all of his years of his wrestling career and putting it to the guys in parental advisory. Well, he's frustrated. What's going on with these punk kids? These little juvenile delinquents has been running wild here at APW. And then you got the coach and his manager right here. For, I don't know what that's all about. Big elbow from Tony Dabs. Dakota Gage definitely taking the uh, the brunt of this. And I think the coach's name listen is... Listen to the crowd. We want booth. Listen. The coach's manager's name is Neil. You know, you know what? And everybody I know whose name Neil is an idiot. You know what I'm talking about. Neil Taylor. Listen to the crowd. We want booth as Put Tony up. Dabbs and uh, K. Swiss are taking it to Dakota Gage. Oh, come on. These Hunter people. needs to make the tag. Listen to the people wanting to... Coach to get involved. Well, these people shut up. Make these people shut up, Jack. Ridiculous. I mean, Tony Dabbs is just getting more frustrated by the minute. Right hand to uh, Hunter Dabbs. Great knocking job. Knocking him off the ring apron. Great job, Tony. That's all I got to say. Great job. Yep, they're upset, and I can't blame them. Tag into K Swiss. Jimmy, I'm telling you, this match has been nonstop. Oh, oh did you hear God, that? Did, did you hear it? Oh, my gosh. You can hear that all the way to Morval, to, real, to, to the real team, the uh, troopers over there. A real football team. Going for a sidewalk slam. Down goes Dakota. Yeah, there you go. He's he's, he's happy. Case, Case Wiss is uh, all up in it. I don't blame him. That's the way to be. He's excited because he's got the upper hand. Hunter Dabbs cannot be happy at the moment. He is yet to be tagged in. Dakota Gage oh. taking all the punishment in this matchup. What a big spine buster. Only a two count. Did you see his head hit the mat? On that spine buster? Tagging the, the bad attitude, Tony Dabbs. There you go, Tony. Tony all over him. You know, bad attitude, Tony Dabbs and Case Wiss became a tag team pretty much out of necessity due to the uh, shenanigans, if you will, of parental advisory, and, and they worked pretty well together. And what about the shenanigans? Talking about the thievery in the restroom? Uh, uh, it, was, it was, who knows who it was. Both teams are down, the referee is counting. The Dakota desperately needs to tag in Hunter. Tag into K Swiss. Tag into Hunter Dabs. Oh, no. Two fresh men in the ring. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Hunter Dabs taking it to K Swiss. Into the corner he goes. Big elbow. Oh yeah. There he stopped him. Okay, that's because. Oh what? no. Why did K Swiss just. Oh my God. He just low blowed the official. I can't believe that. And I can't believe I can't believe he did that. I poke to the eye from K Swiss and the Hunter Dabs. We got Gage. We got bad attitude. And, and the oh, referee's oh. down. The referee's down. What's going to happen here? Uh oh. Up goes Hunter. Top rope. Is he going to fly? Oh, no. No, Tony. Tony Dabbs just hit Dakota into the ring ropes, which caused Hunter Dabbs to uh, find himself on that top turnbuckle, if you will. And, and you got the fans out here uh, wanting, uh, wanting, the rep, uh, wanting the coach to get involved. Coach Booth is over here clapping, trying to get behind Hunter Dabbs. K. Swiss is in the ring. I don't even know where Tony what, Dabbs is What is Coach? Moment. Coach Booth is in the ring. He can't get in the ring. That's coach not right. Coach Booth is in the ring. Can't do that. No, he gave a stutter. No. Oh, my God. No, he did not. Oh, shades of the 90s there, 
from Coach Booth. Frog splash off the top rope. Hunter Dobbs with the pin. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, Parental Advisory with Coach Booth. I can't believe it. I can't either. Hey, look, we will see you guys tonight in Jackson, Tennessee at the West Tennessee Comic Con, Carl Perkins Civic Center. We want to see you guys tonight. Jimmy, we got to go. I'm disgusted. <laughs>